Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up? Na, 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 na. Doing a throwback casty cast, and I am doing Gensei and Rabbit versus Jose and Dingo. I don't think I've ever done these games, so I think it'll be cool to see. Uh, we got Gensei on the Zerg, we got Rabbit on the Protoss, we got Jose on the, the Terran. And then Dingo on the Protoss. Looks like a middle build, and then we'll probably see Fastling from Gensei. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't done these guys, these games. And, um, happy Easter for everyone who is, celebrates Easter. I'm doing this on Sunday. I, yesterday, or Friday night, unfortunately, I lost my phone, but someone returned it. Thank God. Uh, so... And it looks like Tony G isn't able to play, uh, so maybe that'll happen. Maybe, maybe next week we'll see him versus RJB. And uh, the only thing is, I'm I'm moving next Sunday, so it would maybe have to be on Saturday. So we'll see. But if they, or I'll just do the replays. I won't do it live. But double gateway and a forge for Rabbit right here. We got the triple barracks. Three gateways for Dingo and Speedlings for Gensei. See, it's not going to let me change the colors, unfortunately. So there must be some observers here. And this is going to... I don't know. I'm not sure if there was a scout right here. This is I kind of like this from Rabbit because he's able to just box in the Terran so easily. Going to cancel that bunker right there. Here's your first Marine. Zerglings are out, so got to be careful. This is going to be an easy, easy box, and I think that Dingo should get a forge, and he needs to start um, choking up because the Terran is going to get murked right here. So going to lose one Marine right there. Here's your Zerglings. Let's see. There's two more Marines coming, and we know that Gensei's got sick micro. Going to trap that guy, and that guy is basically going to be dead. Here's a Zealot in here as well. Going to have to stack attack. And this guy's going to go down. Going after the depot right here. There's a little cannon rush. So I like that from Dingo. We'll see if that works out at all. And this is not looking good for Jose. He's having to continue to stack attack. He got a cannon. Looks like a cannon rush is going to be happening. Going to lose another SCV. Losing another Marine. And I don't see any yellow zealots really in here. So Dingo doesn't have many units that are kind of helping out. He was able to take this out in the middle, but it's almost looking like he's going to be dead. Let's see if... I don't think he can see that. So I don't know if he can see that cannon right there, but now he's going to see the pylon. And sending those units on over and going to get attacked, so... Gonna go for the attack. So Dingo's basically dead. And now gonna have to stack attack getting the cannon rush. Got a couple zealots. And gonna probably try to snipe out this probe. And this is not looking good. I think that Rabbit should be able to handle this pretty easily. He's got these the stack attack right here. Some more zealots coming in over here from Dingo. Trying to repair this. Jose's completely broke. And he's just going to have to lift that up. He's got no money to repair this, so he needs to get those SCVs out of there. And two cannons right there. And Gensei going to talk to Smack like he always does. And... Not sure. Oh, I need to get the vision. There we go. So, we know what happens this game. Basically, quick, quick, easy win for Gensei and Rabbit. <clears throat> I think that more Western players need to go with this for this fast. Um, the fast Zerglings. A lot of Western players don't do it. And it's really, really effective. Able to get that kill really easily. And now the Protoss can kind of build up. Getting the gas. Got the Cyber on the way. A lot of Zerglings to help out. And Dingle not going to give up though. I'm going to do two games of these guys, and then I'll do two more, uh, maybe tomorrow or something. 
And I also got a couple replays from uh, GG Easy, so going to do a couple of his games. He requested, he sent me some replays, so um, I'll probably do those early next week. Got a couple Zerglings in here, and Dingo's still going to fight for it. He's got a Cyber, but he is... We're probably going to see gas get taken from Gensei, and then he's going to start getting a Hydras, probably. And going to split these guys up and do the surround. Attack from here, attack from here. And that was a nice attack. I think if Rabbit would have went... Oh, there's a bunch of Zealots right here. So going to go for the counter. It'll take out both of those cannons. Going to build another cannon right here. Gensei playing at 400 APM. Get a couple Sunkins and some Zerglings. Putting all these guys in the back. Might get a chamber right here and a chamber right there. Yeah, so smart move right there and a chamber right here. So this is completely... And he's going to be able to spread. So let's watch him defend against this. He's got some Zerglings that are going to pop out just in time. Making this look easy. And he's probably going to cancel all these. Yep, going to cancel them all. And he's got four Sunkins back here, so going to be completely fine. Getting a lot of gateways, Rabbit is. And he's got a Citadel of a Dune, so going to get speed. And maybe he'll get a Templar Archives as well. He's getting that one upgrade. And speed for Dingo. Supply 109, Rabbit's at 69. This is a lot of Zealots right here, but there's a lot of gateways for Rabbit, so... He will probably be a-okay. Let's see if speed just kind of started for Dingo. A couple more gateways right there. Those little Zerglings. And he's going to run these guys all the way down. And he's going to go for the attack. Kind of a counter, but there are some Zealots right here. Going to maybe just run through and go after the main. Gonna build a couple cannons right here. Gonna have to probably just pull these guys and spread them all over. Is he gonna go for the main? That'd be sick. Gonna take out the Citadel of a Dune. That's gonna be huge. And now, Rabbit. Gonna start pushing out. Gonna take out the Citadel. Gonna go after the Cyber. Gonna see a counter right here, but there's gonna be no speed. And we'll see probably gonna rebuild those. Gonna just build some more creep colonies here, so he's gonna be perfectly fine. Dingo did survive this, but we'll see. Maybe a chamber will come down here again, and then he'll cancel it. This is just so many sunkins. Gonna spread these guys. He canceled his lair. So he's getting a lair, and he canceled it. Must have used the money to make more sunkins. And look at all these zealots from Rabbit. He's at 140 supply. And no drops. And a drop will be coming from Rabbit. No Nexus, but he's probably going to get one really soon. He's got the money for it. <clears throat> There's the GG. So Dingo actually going to call it. So that one is going to go to Gensei and Rabbit. Going to win the off matchup right there. So let's go into the second one. It's going to be the same matchup, I guess. So we'll see if Jose and Dingo are able to do any better this game. I think they played six. So I'm going to download all of them. Maybe I'll do all of them. But we got is this Rabbit. Yeah, Rabbit, Gensei, Dingo, and Jose. So. Both going to be in a corner spot, going to get spotted out from this Overlord. And we're probably going to see Speed Zerglings again. Going to go with the Depot on 8 and then the Barracks on 9. So your Marine's a little bit slower when it comes out. And I, I don't 100% know how much it affects your... Marine count, your money, here's your scout, but obviously 
I don't know. I guess, I mean, I would almost think that going for the eight barracks is always better because you're going to have a faster marine. You're going to be making a depot anyway, so. Um, I don't know. So here's your speed. Zerglings. Let's see how well timed this is. He's got Zerglings on the way. Speed. And he's got his 100 gas. He's just waiting for that 100 minerals. He's got the hatchery. And Rabbit went for the two, two gateway forge, but didn't build in the middle. So, and here is your three barracks for Jose. Dingo going to do the same thing. I think Dingo might pick yellow. He's always yellow, it seems like. Here's your Zerglings, and they're going to try to box in the Terran again. So... And actually just going to go straight for the attack with these Zerglings, do some harassment. And I think Jose's going to have to start sending his units out. He's not going to be able to take... Yeah, he's not going to be able to stop this cannon. So he's going to get boxed in for sure. And no forge for Dingo. And it looks like he's going to lose this. Look at how fast that's going down. Looks like he's going to lose this gateway. There's one Zealot right there. Here's your Marines going to try to snipe out this Overlord. And here's a Scout right here. He's gonna just keep harassing going after this and after this gateway I think and this cannon's gonna be finishing up any second and he's gonna try to snipe it out there's just no way Jose's gonna have to get out of there and these guys are gonna get trapped by the speed zerglings and this is gonna be bad for Jose losing all of his marines they're absolutely worked building a bunker now he's got three marines in here and he's gonna have to stack attack again and this is where having speed Zerglings is just so effective. This guy's going to get... We'll see if maybe a counter from Dingo. And the bunker's going to finish. Going to repair that. Might start picking off some of these SCVs. But yeah, just going to have to get out of there. And already super fast Cyber from Rabbit. And he's going to be able to get... That robotics facility really quickly. Here's a couple zealots in here. Going to take out this cannon. And zerglings are going to... And this is also another good thing about speed zerglings. Is you can help out your partner extremely quickly. And you can sometimes trap zealots. So not going to stack attack. There is a cannon. He went for a citadel of a dune. So that's going to be finished up. And doing some damage. Here's your factory from Jose. And this is a lot of zealots right here, but it looks like he's retreating out of here. We'll see if maybe another cannon comes down. And there's a Templar Archives, so we're going to go super fast Templar Archives. Or super, yeah, super fast Templar Archives. We'll see if he goes for fast DTs. And let's see what Gensei's up to. Only got one sunken over here. I'm going to take out this gateway right here. Zealot's going to spawn. Got the Zerglings right here. Let's see if there's any cannons. No, oh, there is one cannon in the back right there. And going to try to box in Rabbit, which I kind of like that move from Dingo. A lot of Zerglings here going to snipe out that Probodobe. And going to float this on over, get some scout action. Two more barracks on the way. Going to go right into a starport. And going to go after the Temple Archives. Let's see if a DT. DT is on the way. And this is going to go, not go down. So, and maybe he'll take out this cannon. Looks like he's just going to be retreating right now. Some Zerglings, and there's a cannon right here. Continuing to attack and try to get this box in right here. We'll see if a turret comes down. and get a depot, two depots, kind of wall this off. Here's your command center. And going to see the lair is going to finish up. And here's a counter from Dingo. So, I mean, Dingo's doing a lot of good, uh, doing a good job with all the pressure right now. So, putting a lot of pressure on both Rabbit and Gensei. These guys are going to get surrounded, though. Plus, these Zealots right here are going to help out. Completely surrounding, but somehow all those Zealots did a lot more damage than I thought. And is there an SCV over here? Yeah. And there's your first DT. I'm guessing a couple more. There's a two Templars. There's your robotics facility. Two more DTs are going to spawn. Or one is. And trying to start cannoning in Rabbit. And Rabbit did a nice job moving that probe. 
Gensei playing at crazy APM. Here's your Hydras. We'll see if I... Ooh, it looks like a... Where's the start port at? Is it in the corner right here? There it is. And already getting Irradiate. So I, I like that move from Jose. Here's some Zerglings out here. Gonna look for... See if there's any... Any robotics over here. A sneaky robotics. Doing a nice job. And he also might... Burrow some of these guys up. We'll see. He might burrow some of the guys over here. That's one thing that Gensei does a lot. Here's your Hydras coming on out. Let's see if he's getting speed. He's gonna get... Lurkers first, and here's your box in, so they might go straight for the attack on Jose. We'll see. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he's doing. He's burrowing this guy's up. Get vision for his partner. Here's your Nexus from Rabbit. So let's see. Look at this vision. This is he's got the overlords right here. He's gonna see the turret moving those just in time. Gonna put some Zerglings up here, and we're gonna see the Templar drop at 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Not the best control right there. And here's your two tanks. And we'll see if the DTs come on over. And looks like the drop... Here's a factory in here. So not completely sure. I think he's maybe going to use the that build the tanks and then try to push out his partner. I don't know if that's the best idea, but we will see. Here's a drop ship. And not getting a vessel just yet. Here's the Templar drop. Let's see if... I'm guessing Storm is already upgraded. Scan's coming down. TT in here. Gonna see this wide open drop and... Gonna get all the Probodobes. Not gonna see it. And here's a drop on Gensei. He's got a couple Lurkers right here. This is... Two Fire Bats, two Medics. And a tank. And he might just bring this on all the way over. And just go right after Rabbit's Minerals. There's an observer right here, so nice job there by Dingo getting that quick observer. Here's your DT, he's gonna spot this out. And there's a couple Dragoons in here, so this is gonna be failed. And not gonna get anything done. Here's your Lurkers. And there is an observer here, so... Gonna burrow these guys up pretty nicely though. And we'll see another, here's another observer. Is there an observer right here? And Jose starting to build up his base. He's got a lot of gas, so. Man, hopefully I didn't miss any irradiates. I don't think I did. Dingo lost all of his minerals. He's got the triple. Here's your factory. And a couple cannons right here. More cannons getting made from Rabbit. Rabbit's going to have a ton of gateways. He's going to have 12 right here. Not a ton, but a decent amount. Here's your hive. And probably going to go right into guardians. A couple hydras here. Here's some lurkers getting made. Supply 130 for Rabbit, so he's gonna start beasting up. Here's his drop. Didn't get speed. Does he have Templars in each? He might send one this way and then one this way. So we'll see if he splits that up. There's a scan coming down. And Jose's starting to build up his base though. And looks like he is splitting this up. And I hear something. Yeah, here's a Dark Archon in here. And don't want to miss this drop. Here's your... Just going to snipe out the shuttle and going to drop the Templars just in time. And looks like we're going to see an attack on Jose. He's got a couple bunkers. I haven't seen a drop from Dingo. Usually Dingo's good at dropping, but he did get dropped super early. And this is going to float on over. And let's see if speed is a little bit over halfway done, but not done yet. Here's your Hive Greater Spire. Another hatchery just playing off of three extra hatcheries right now so bought a lot of time rabbit did bought a lot of time for his partner and i see this drop here i see this drop here and he's just waiting for speed so as soon as speed's done he's gonna go for the drop and Jose is at 122 supply. Dingo at 103. Here's some more zealots coming on over. Let's see if they got an upgrade. Lurkers in the middle right here. And gonna drop this Templar. Gonna get a nice storm off right there. Absolutely killing it. And here comes the attack on Jose. Spreading these guys out. I'm guessing he's getting speed for his overlords. That's always clutch. And Rabbit and Gensei are getting bigger and bigger. Rabbit's basically maxed out. Here's your vessel in here. 
And Observer. Observer sees this drop right here. So some more units coming on over. And Gensei is just really building up his base. He's got a lot of money. So he's got 1,500. Here's your Mutas. Going to get the make those into um, Guardians, I think. Another scan coming down. Getting both his upgrades. And I'm surprised that Dingo doesn't pick up some Dragoons. And kill this shuttle right here. Here's six macro hatcheries for Gensei. A couple more mutas. A lot more mutas are going to spawn. Looks like we might see an attack from Rabbit onto uh, Jose. So, no upgrades yet. A lot of, lot of Goliaths in here, though. He should be okay. There are Guardians. Let's see if he's getting, he's getting range. Nice couple storms right here. And we'll see if Dingo maybe tries to... Did, he, did I miss a drop? Hopefully I did not. Here it is. Couple tanks in here. Gonna have to use those. All these guys are in the way. He needs to tell his partner to move those guys. That upgrade's gonna finish. Oh, it's taking a while to finish. Here's an Archon in here. Guardians. A lot of Guardians. I don't know if Jose's gonna be able to survive this. Is this a drop? No. Fake drop. And more Guardians coming on over. A lot of macro hatcheries now for Gensei. I think this one is over. Here's your attack. Let's try to start busting out, but he had enough units to go there, I think. He needs to try to help out his partner. There's the Goliaths that have the range. But it's just going to be a little bit too late. Here's the actual drop, I think. Three Templars in here. Probes in here. Gonna start building some cannons or try to for his partner. A radiate coming down. And here's that drop. Or he just used that those Templars in there. And look at this vision. Just beautiful vision for Gensei. And Gensei gonna call it. And Dingo gonna leave. Jose going to call the GG. So those first two games are going to go to Gensei and Rabbit. So good games right there. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. Have a good Easter if you guys are celebrating it. And I will see you guys later. Peace.